Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another bespoke beer review for the beer connoisseur. If you're a beer connoisseur, this is a bespoke beer for you. Beer review for you. <laughs> Welcome to another beer review. Now yeah, that's a good intro. Fifteen seconds intro. And um, we got a brew york collaboration. I seem to be doing a lot of brew york lately, but I can't, just can't help myself. And we've got a brew york collaboration with Anarchy Brew Company in the northeast. And we have. Um, a sour and we have a can of Cosmo Bellini super smashing great there you go clocking at 6.8% ABV this is a cranberry peach lime and orange sour I'll give a little twist for you love these brew york cans um, I shall read the back and it's, it says our second collab with our great friends from Anarchy Brew Company Given we're both a bit bonkers, and I'm a bit bonkers too, I have to join the two of you, um, that was never going to be anything simple, hence a cocktail sour. And why make one cocktail when you confuse two? So this is two cocktails, juicy cranberry and peaches, um, backed by tart lime with a delicate burnt orange finish. What's not to love? It's got mounted hops, Malt sour, pilsner, malted wheat, toyfied wheat, acidulated malt. Um, adjuncts are cranberries, peaches, oranges, limes, lemons. Quite a lot then. So let's crack it open, shall we? Uh, cocktails. Now, cocktails. My experience of cocktails are they, you know, as a woman's drink. You know, always seen them as a woman's drink. But. Um, they tend to kind of, uh, be deceiving because whatever you think is a cocktail drink and looks like a tart drink can absolutely put you flat on your ass, if you know what I mean. So I should have the umbrellas. I should have the, you know, the whatever they have on them. The cocktails, umbrellas, and um, oh, let's see, I've still got to finish that one. Umbrellas and stuff and... You know, little bits of... Anyway, let's get the aroma. You pick up the lime. Definitely pick up that lime. You pick up the cranberry. As such, you do get a hint of orange. It smells, I'll be honest with you, it smells like... Um, like a kind of like a, a fruit soft drink, in a way. You know, it does. It, you know, let's whack this in anyway. So, it's cocktail time. Should have got a shaker out and started shaking this up and, you know. But as I said, cocktails, you know, are very deceiving. It's a bit like um, sherry. I went out years ago with my mates and we had a sherry night where we lived. <laughs> and all we, a sherry night, I mean, but at every pub we went into on a, on a pub crawl, we just had sherry. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. It was the worst hangover I think I've ever felt in my life. I was absolutely obliterated by the end of the night. But we I don't know whose idea it was to have a sherry night, just to go out and just do a pub call, but everyone had to drink sherry. <laughs> what a stupid idea. But the things you do when you're younger, boys and girls, as you can see, yeah, slight haziness to it, thinning head. Um, steady flow carbonation going up. It does look a little bit apple juicy to me. The aroma, limes, berries, oranges. You do smell a lot of the ingredients from the aroma. It's there. It smells fresh. It smells summery. It smells like something to have in the garden on a hot day. But today, I'm having it inside on a cloudy one. So, cheers, everybody. Tart lime. Wallop. Straight away. Then you're getting the cranberries. Wallop. Boom. Secondly, <laughs> you're getting the oranges. Definitely there. 
Oh, very tarty. Very fruity. Everything feels natural. All these flavours of fruit feel natural. Feel like they belong in this beer. So, it's working. It's doing its job. Um, it's refreshing. This is 6.8%. There's no inkling of 6.8%. Um, it's bang on. It really is. It's, it's bang on. It's got everything. It's an overload of fruit in a way. Overload of fruit flavours. But it's all there. Everything is, is all there. You know. Um, it is cracking. It is cracking. It is. It's, it's a beer. <sighs> to fully appreciate it. You need to try it. Put it that way. It's 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 one of them. It's it's again again. I think actually the peach is slightly lagging for me in this. But you are getting everything else what it's supposed to do. It's a belter. I like this one. I'm starting to really appreciate sours. I know there's a lot of sours out there on the market. Um, and, you know, there'll be some crap. There'll be some good ones for me. This one actually does work a treat. So, boys and girls, Cosmo Bellini from Brew York and Anarchy Brewing Company. <clears throat> give it a go. Overload. It's a fruit over overload. But it works. On that score, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, let me in the comments, and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers.